Hello and welcome to In the Classroom, an educational podcast making teaching and learning more transparent. My name is Benjamin Stewart at BenjaminLStewart.org. Today I want to spend a few minutes introducing a course called Thesis Seminar, which will uh, begin in January of 2021. I want to talk about the different ways of accessing the course content and how we're going to be engaged throughout the semester as the course is going to be taught completely online. I want to give you some options and uh, some different ways, different apps and platforms that you can use to take part in the class and the live sessions and the online meetings that we'll be having throughout the semester as well as accessing course content asynchronously. So I want to begin by first opening up Microsoft Teams because Microsoft Teams, if you're not familiar with the platform, this is where we're going to be meeting online. So anytime we have a whole group discussion, anytime we have a tutoring session, which I'll talk about here in a few minutes, we will be using this platform to meet online at designated times. So if uh, you're entering into the class the first time, you'll be going to the post section, and this is where I'll send most of uh, my announcements or messages to the group. Of course, you can respond uh, publicly, openly, whereas all of us can see the messages and all of the responses. This is really the best place to do that under posts. Now, under files, this is where you'll access not only your individual Word documents that you'll be using to draft your thesis paper, uh, but also different different uh, files that will be used for the course. Under Thesis Writers, the folder called Thesis Writers, this is where you'll access your Word document. We'll talk about that the first day of class. And I currently have a folder called Books. We'll include uh, some files there as well later on, as well as a calendar. But this will probably change as we get into the course. More files will be shared under uh, the heading files. Now, there is a notebook that we, at this point, there are no plans uh, to use this uh, notebook. So at this point, you can uh, ignore uh, this space for now. And then next to that, we have Thesis Seminar. This is the link to Notion. This is another platform we'll talk about here in a second. But you can access the course content online within Microsoft Teams. If you're comfortable using this platform, feel free to access it. Now, the first time that you enter into this space, um, it may look slightly different. I will um, be talking about how to sign in. In fact, at the time of this recording, I have yet to add all of you to our Notion page. But by the time you see this video, you will have received a, a link to your Microsoft 365 email account, your university email account, where you'll be uh, receiving an invitation to join Notion, which will allow you to sign in. You will sign in using your university email account as, as uh, the username, and then you can come up with your own password to enter into the platform. All right, we'll talk more about that here uh, in, in a minute. But for Microsoft Teams, basically these are the sections under Posts, Files, and Thesis Seminar. This is what we'll be using primarily uh, to interact uh, via messages and, and files. Most of the private files will be under uh, Files here. And yeah, let's look at now Thesis Seminar using your browser. So if you open up your browser and, and all of these links will be shared with you the first day of class, this is what the same course content looks like now within your browser. So it does look slightly different. Again, if we do a quick comparison between Microsoft Teams, and it'll take a second here to load up, maybe. Give it a second. Okay, so here is the course content as it appears in Microsoft Teams, and this is what it looks like in uh, the browser. Now, I'm using dark mode, so it will look pretty much the same. You'll notice along the right-hand side an outline. 
So the thesis seminar homepage has a table of contents. And I've added to my browser an add-on or an extension, I should say, called Notion Boost. So if you like this outline, again, this outline is taken directly from the table of contents. It's fixed, so as you scroll down the page, notice that you can easily jump around the different sections of the page simply by clicking on these hypertext within the outline. So uh, this is optional, of course, uh, if you want to remove the outline. If you have the uh, extension installed, you can toggle on and off. You can actually turn on and off the outline if you wish, or simply not even install the, the extension. Uh, the extension does have other options that currently I, I don't use, but I, I, do, I do like the outline uh, option. All right, so you'll notice if you're visiting this page for the first time, you'll notice that uh, it's there are several sections to the page we've got the general information about the course the course description the objective how the course will be delivered and that's going to be broken down into three main areas one being the tutoring sessions which we'll talk about in a minute the second being whole group discussions and i've included some important dates that we'll talk about the first day of class where we'll you'll be asked to meet online. This will include the first week of class, which will begin January 25th. So we will be meeting every day uh, that first week. Uh, it's kind of an orientation to get familiar with your topics. And uh, as we get into our literature review, which will be unit one, and then we'll have input sessions. The input sessions are basically any videos or audios or just online spaces that I create specifically for the purposes of this course. And I'll be sharing those input sessions with you in the course schedule. Now in the course schedule, you'll notice a calendar view. And in this calendar view, um, if you're looking at this, let me, because we're in December at the time of this recording, if I move up to January, you'll notice along the bottom, of the calendar starting January 25th, different activities that are being scheduled in uh, the calendar. So you can find here lessons, assignments, different tasks that we'll be working on throughout the semester. You'll find all of those here in this space. All right, so this is a calendar view that you can go in and open up each of the activities. Now, if you're not familiar with Notion, the first time that you click on an activity or a lesson, you'll notice a pop-up screen. So I could easily click outside of that box and close it. And that allows you to kind of view at a glance different activities without leaving the home page. But if you do want to open up each or any of these lessons or assignments, simply click on open as a page and then it opens up as a whole page. Notice along the top you have a breadcrumb so that you can easily go back to uh, the prior page. Now, what I would recommend, because if you click on Academic Planner, this will actually take you to a different page. If you click the back arrow, this will take you back to the main page, as we've done here. Um, if you click on In the Classroom, In the Classroom is actually the home page where I post uh, all of the classes that I teach. You'll notice um, thesis seminar under open courseware. So if you actually if accidentally get back to in the classroom, know that thesis seminar is one class within the home page in the classroom. All right. So just a couple of navigational notes there. If uh, you're coming into for the first time this space, and again, each of these you can open up into your uh, into your browser and you can choose if you want the pop-up or if you want to open up as a whole page All right, if we go further down, you'll find the thesis work schedule. We'll talk about that uh, the first day of class We have the university calendar if you need to refer to that you can find it here and Along the bottom here. We'll just keep going down. Uh, we'll talk about the roster Okay, each of you will have your own space within Notion, and uh, we'll get into that later. 
The bi-weekly tutoring session, we'll talk about that also, but this is where you'll schedule your own tutoring sessions. Notice here we have now a second calendar. This is going to be specific for specifically for scheduling your tutoring sessions and also your reflections. And I actually created a video here where if you click, you'll see or, or hear my description of how we're going to deal with this calendar. But notice we have templates and uh, you can access these templates. Actually, there's going to be one template that you'll use both for scheduling your tutoring session as well as writing your uh, journal entry. And so we'll be doing that each week to monitor your progress throughout the semester. We have some recommended links here. We'll be using Teacher Ease for your gradebook and uh, some other links that you might find useful. There's a grading section. We'll go over this in detail the first week. This is taken directly from the syllabus. And then we have some additional links and references. If you're new to Notion, I, I would recommend that you go to the page called Notion Help Center. And I have, I think, some useful links that might you might find useful, both not only for this class, but if you decide to use Notion as a student, there are some really good tips that you can use for keeping notes and just organizing yourself in terms of the courses that you're teaching and maybe even decide to use it as a teacher in some of your classes. All right, so this is basically what it looks like uh, in Notion. And once you have found the page, I would recommend that you, uh, that you uh, save it in your bookmarks, this page, so that you can easily access this later on. All right, so again, you can access all of this course content within your browser on your desktop computer as well as Within Microsoft Teams, again, exactly the same content. I can easily go in and do basically everything that uh, we've done online in our browser. You can do within Microsoft Teams. But do make sure that you've signed in if you're accessing this for the first time. And again, at the time of this recording, I have yet to send your invitations, but I will be doing that a little bit later today. All right, now let's look at the some apps on your phone that will allow you to access the same course content but on your cell phone. Two apps that we'll be using, Microsoft Teams being one of them. And if you're getting into, let me go back to the main page here. All right, so you should, uh, it should appear this course called Thesis Seminar. And... This will take you into the app where you'll see along the top three menus, three options, post, files, and then more. So here you can view all the posts under files. These will be the same files that we saw earlier. So we can access, you can access your documents. Um, if you are using Word uh, to, on your phone to, to write your paper, then you're going to need to also have installed Microsoft Word on, on your cell phone. I recommend that you find a computer simply because I think it's more comfortable to actually write, uh, especially a paper of this length, using a, a computer, a desktop computer. But maybe there might be some times where you want to switch back and forth, and uh, if inspiration strikes, you can use your phone to continue adding content or information to your thesis paper, your Word document. All right, so the, that's files. If you click more, you'll see thesis seminar. And um, it's not showing up now. The first time that you access this, it will give you an option to either open up the Notion app or you can open up your browser. Since we're in our browser at this time, let me show you what this looks like. So if I want to click on thesis seminar, it will open up here and the good thing about notion is it's very it looks really good on uh, in your browser okay so if you decide or maybe you don't have space to install another app on your cell phone you can easily use the browser within your cell phone and access all of the same content that we looked at earlier if I scroll down here right you can see the same info and this is just within the browser it looks very good and it's it's a pretty good user experience. 
But if you do have space and you want to use the Notion app, this is what it looks like. You can uh, install it directly, and it's just another way of accessing it. Now, you'll notice I'm in dark mode. Uh, this is because it's a just a personal preference. But again, it's the same content. If I scroll down, you'll see the same sections that we looked at before, the same calendars, and so on. If I click on any of these dates, then these this is the course content within those dates. Let me go back to January, and you'll notice January 25th. This will be our first class, and I'll click on there. All right, and so again, same information, same course content, and you'll notice we also have the breadcrumbs along the top, and I would recommend also using the back arrow instead of using the breadcrumb. You, you can certainly use it, but it's uh, notice that the course thesis seminar doesn't appear in the breadcrumb. So if you click the back arrow, this will take you back where we were before. So again, I would recommend for the mo for in most cases, you'll want to hit the back arrow to go back to the syllabus page or the main page of thesis seminar. Again, we have the same uh, table of contents. We can click on that and jump to each of the sections. All right, so this is what it looks like here within the app. We looked at it within the browser, and, and we looked at uh, the different sections of Thesis Seminar within Microsoft Teams on our cell phone. So again, tr try to use the app that you feel most, most comfortable with. Uh, the reasoning for the different options uh, that I'm trying to show you here today is so that you uh, become comfortable and that you can easily access all of the course content, both the synchronous forms of communication that we're going to be taking part in this semester, the online courses, the, the whole, whole group discussions, the tutoring sessions that we're going to be taking part in. Again, we're going to be using Microsoft Teams for the most part. Uh, accessing all of our online sessions through that single platform. And then asynchronously, all of the course content will be in Notion. And I'm going to be sending you an invite so that you can get into these pages um, so that you can, you can uh, begin looking around and uh, looking at the different areas that we'll be uh, taking part in. All right, so again, classes are going to start January 25th, 2021. We'll be meeting at 8 o'clock in the morning. That will be our first session. So be looking for an invitation to an online meeting in Microsoft Teams under Posts. I'll be opening up a schedule or a meeting. I'll be scheduling a meeting uh, for that first day so that we can begin uh, promptly. And again, that first week is going to be uh, mandatory that you attend all of the courses, all of the online classes that we have scheduled so that we can uh, begin thinking about how to either take a thesis or a literature review maybe that you developed last semester or just th thinking about the topic that you're considering and uh, thinking about how to adapt it for the purposes of doing an actual research study. This has been In the Classroom, an educational podcast making teaching and learning more transparent. Thanks for listening.